Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing the stuff I picked up from the Dollar General for 25% off. This is the Dino Valley toy line. And this stuff is kind of based on the Jurassic Park stuff, but it's made by none other than Discovery. Ooh, that's interesting, huh? But yeah, give him, we got a lot of stuff to show off because there's a lot of stuff in this line. So we're going to look at the boxes in the back because there's some big boxes here. We got this pack of single dinosaurs, which I already opened, so we're going to... Artwork on these boxes ain't half bad for our boys Discovery. Shows off all the figures you get in these lines, which is pretty cool. Why not? I say why not. Those were originally five bucks, but I got them for three bucks. So yeah, these were worth the money to add a Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World shelf with these. Some more artwork and product shots. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And now we're going to get the big box that was originally 25 bucks. And this thing is so huge, I'm going to have to move the tripod back. See how massive that box is? It's incredibly massive. And the artwork on this box is just downright incredible. Even the gimmicks for this box are incredible. And I dig how they did this box, man. It is awesome. But now we're going to look at the back of the box before we look at the rest of our figures and just knock down a bunch of figures. Sorry about that. But we get some nice product shots and other things in the Dino Valley toy line, which I dig. But now we're done with the huge mega box. <laughs> this thing was originally 25 bucks, and it probably was 16 bucks with 25% off or something. I, I don't know the exact amount I got it for, but it was 20, it had to be 16 bucks. But now we're gonna move the tripod back. I'm gonna look at every figure we got here in the Dino Valley toy line. We're gonna start with that massive T-Rex. Gonna have to pull it back. To show you how big this thing is. It's pretty big and gnarly looking. Look at that. Posability. You get some posability out of it. No bends at the knee, which is a real shame. But it does have a gimmick. When you press this button on his side, he makes noise. Just like the original T-Rex I got, like, right here. And you've already seen that in a review, so... Let's press the button. His mouth opens and his eyes light up red. Oh, that is so cool. So, so cool. I dig this big dinosaur. Now that we're done showing him off and what he does, put him on the shelf. Why not? Put him on the shelf. He's a big, monstrous T-Rex. Next, we got the plane from Dino Valley, and this is a pretty cool plane. It's got a propeller, so it goes spinning, spinning. It's got machine guns, and it says there's a hook built in, so you can put this uh, net on. So let's put the net on the hooks. So I'm going to figure that out. It says it said so on the box, which I did not know. Now we're going to hook the net to the back of the plane and now they're ready now he's ready to catch a dino in his net and be like i'm gonna catch you you dinosaur right in my net whoosh and it and it does roll like rolling things should which is pretty cool and now we're gonna look at the figure in the plane we got two of these guys in this dino valley toy hall posability you don't have much. 
no ball jointed shoulders or legs, but he can kick front forward that far. Can't kick back at all. Kind of like the articulation almost of a vintage Kenner Star Wars, if I do say so myself. But not a bad looking figure for a Discovery soldier figure. Or dinosaur soldier figure. Why not? Now we're done with this plane. We're going to put it on the shelf. And we got a lot of these dinosaurs just to show off today. So a whole mess load of dinosaur figure goodness. Why not? I say why not? Next we got another... We got three of these guys now that can hold guns. So yeah. These are the exact same figure. But they have... Huge Uzi machine guns. So you could totally have them holding machine guns. Why not? Say why not? Articulation with these guys is pretty simple. Kick front. No kick back. Arm rotates that far around. Limit articulation head. Slight movement. Hands can do a full rotation. That's all there is to say for articulation for these guys. So let's put these off to the side because they're the exact same articulation. All right. And this is the last guy from the Dino Valley, and he's the exact same guy as the guy in the plane. Got a pistol on a phone, so he'd be like, Help! Dinosaurs are trying to eat me! <laughs> what better way to kick off a scary October than with some Jurassic action why not you can kick kick forward that far no back arms can do a full 360 which is nice head can turn well, that's all there is to say for articulation with these but now we're going to look at our little thing of dinosaurs this is the exact same car i got from the first wave of dino valley stuff but well, there's a bunch of accessories that come with these figures I'm going to show off. But now we're going to look at these dinos. There's no articulation with these because these are little dinosaurs. That one was like a T-Rex of sorts. A T-Rex. Why not? He was a T-Rex. Here's another T-Rex. And this one is non-articulated, but it is molded in some good plastic which is pretty cool yep all right next we got this velociraptor of sorts it's creepy looking very creepy looking it's a scary figure for this scary halloween why not scary october huh? scary october this is eddie hill's scary october so, yeah, we'll be doing a lot of scary figures this month. So, yeah. Next on the list, we got a, got a Spinosaurus. And, man, this thing is a beast. Even though it's a figure and doesn't have any articulation. He's a beast. Next on the list, we got another Velociraptor. Oh, man, he's scary looking. I know Teddy would be like, eh, Velociraptor, run for your life. <laughs> That's what he'd be like with a Velociraptor, trying to get away, like being run for your life and all that. Next, we got a Brontosaurus. Now, this is not an action figure, but it is a plastic figure. Which looks pretty cool. So far, so good, right? But now we got these dinosaur eggs and figures, little tiny babies. Why not? What's a dinosaur week without those, right? <laughs> and I just had the eggs roll off on me, the dino eggs roll off on me. So give me a second to grab them all. I'm telling you, these eggs can easily go off on their own <laughs> if you're not careful. So I gotta put the eggs back together and put them back on the table though. 
All right. First on the list, we got a little baby dino. I don't know this particular species, but it is pretty cute. Which I had a figure to go with it. I think we got two of them. Why not? Here's a dinosaur egg with a Triceratops baby. Why not? Dare I say why not? And we got this egg that has a baby... Stegosaurus. Yeah, it's a baby Stegosaurus. And that's why I put in the egg. So you could see the baby Stegosaurus. Why not? Dare I say why not? It's hard to get these eggs put back together. So, yep. <laughs> we got some dino eggs. Why not? Some baby dino eggs. We got another Stegosaurus right here. And is it, isn't it adorable? Oh, so adorable and precious. Got another Triceratops baby. I love those cute little tiny figures. Then we got some baby T-Rexes. Why not? Dare I say why not? They're cute. They're adorable. Why not? Say why not. Next on the list, we're going to look at our entire accessories. We got this shovel piece from this Dino Valley line. We got this little broom of archaeology of sorts. We got this lantern piece and these binoculars. Sorry if I stuttered there for a second. We got this little camera, I think it is. Flashlight gun, why not? A little water bottle, why not? And I think this is a little book or tablet of sorts, I don't know. If you know, then leave me a comment because these little pieces are a little tiny pieces. Why not? In case you're wondering why you haven't been able to leave any comments, well, my comments section is down and I have no idea how to fix it. So just make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe, of course. But if you can leave a comment, try to do so. I would appreciate it. But now we're going to look at the Dino Valley dinosaurs that were originally $8 I got for probably $4. And these things make noise and they come with these Jurassic sort of cages things. Look out and roar. Dino Valley. Dino Unleashed. Triceratops. And these things got some articulation. Not much, but some. So they do have articulation, the bigger ones. And they make noise. Why not? I love it. The way they did these, they made them had noise, which is awesome. But there's the Triceratops. Next, we got the Spinosaurus. But here's the packaging for the Spinosaurus. Showing off all the other ones in the line. We are missing this one. The Velociraptor. It was a shame I couldn't find that in the box. But I found every everything else. Except for the giant T-Rex and those little roar action babies. Which is a real shame really. But the Spinosaurus you get some posability. And this is my very first Spinosaurus for my Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World collection. He is an awesome looking figure. Why not? He's awesome looking. Articulation. His mouth does open. His arms move. And he makes noise when you pull his arm, which is pretty cool. Why not? There I say, why not? These are fun figures to have. And the last thing on this Dino Valley toy haul is the mighty, the fiercest predator, the T-Rex. Nice product shot of the T-Rex, and he makes noise. 
And the same with all this Dino Valley stuff. Probably wondering, why am I getting into Dino Valley so much? From Discovery. Well, I love these dinosaurs. And I love how these dinosaurs look very cool and very impressive. And this one, the head moves, the arms move, the legs move. And they're not half bad for a, a company made by Discovery. I would recommend these if you don't even have any Jurassic Park collection figures. And these are some of the most impressive noise-making dinosaurs I've ever had the pleasure of getting my hands on. And a lot of these dinosaurs are pretty awesome noise-making figures. I wouldn't usually get in Discovery figures, but now I'm hooked on these and I'm tempted to buy the whole collection until I have a complete set of Dino Valley stuff. Just to have a full Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World themed shelf. But it's going to look awesome when it's 100% completed. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.